Hi guys, I'm here to share with you affordable baby essentials. These are going to be items that I've used just about every day or on a regular basis with my newborn. They're my top five essentials and they're affordable. So let's get started. The first thing is this safety dog. I purchased this from Target for anywhere between two to two to five dollar range. Um, what it is is that whenever you make your baby's bath water, you put it in there. If it's too hot, the word hot will light up and it turns like a reddish purpley color. So you know that the water is too hot. This is perfect for me. Like when I'm running my bath water for my little one, I put him in, he starts crying and I'm like, is it too hot? Or is he just crying because he doesn't want to take a bath? He doesn't like the water. So this definitely comes in handy. I did not have this duck with my first son, but I'm so happy that um, I got it this second time around. So it just gives me a peace of mind. I know that the water's fine and he's not being burned. So, cause I really like my water really, really hot. So yes, this is a great purchase and affordable and I use it every time I give him a bath. The next thing are pacifiers, the Soothies, the Avent Soothies. Um, you can buy them like this. I love these, they're perfect for their little mouths. I feel like this brand of pacifiers, they're good for when they get older because their mouths are bigger. But when they're itty bitty, I love these little Sudi pacifiers and then you can see them suck on it from the inside. And um, I just think they're soft, rubbery, and they're perfect for their itty bitty mouth. So I like those, but I have a problem keeping up with the ones that are individually like that. Um, they come in like a two pack. So, I love the Wubba Nub. It's by the same exact brand. It's the same exact pacifier. It's just with a little um, stuffed animal attached. And I think it's really cute, adorable, and it's easy to find. So like when you lose the pacifier in the sheets or you can't find it, it's very hard to lose something like this. And it's very easy to find if you do lose it. So it comes with like lions, giraffes, elephants. Um, I've seen all types of animals attached to these. And then I got this one from Target for about 10 bucks or so. So that's a plus and then if you get them individual like these in a two-pack without the little animal on the end they're about like three dollars or so then the next thing are these avent bottles i love these um i bought mine in a set um they can be expensive but what i like about them is i like the grip on them i like that you're able to see it helps reduce colic and things like that and i also like that the nipples come with different um, numbers on them so that says a number two so they start all the way from I think they come with a zero if I'm not mistaken so they go zero months one month two months and they work their way up so I think as the months go up the hole gets bigger so like the um, how much milk your baby can suck out um, it increases as your baby gets older because you know the intake is a lot better so for like my son um i was able to purchase i had already the set that i bought already came with like one zero nipple so i just bought a couple more on amazon you can find the nipple so individually but if you buy them in the sets um it's more affordable and it's cheaper so yes these bottles are more on the expensive side but if you get a set like i got a set of three four ounce bottles two nine ounce bottles and the zero nipple a couple of one nipples and a couple of two nipples and so as they go up in age and you see all oh, my babies just sucking 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 a lot but if they're not getting a lot of milk they might need to progress for the next nipple so i started him out at a zero because the flow the milk flow was like way too fast and he was getting choked a lot on his milk so i started him out with a zero nipple then it seemed like he was sucking a lot like and enough wasn't coming out um so then i moved him to the one that was perfect and then probably the next month or two we'll just switch out to the two nipples and you just unscrew it and pop it out so i love that about these bottles that they're nice um nice grip helps with colic and i love that you can change like the flow of the milk according to what stage you feel like your baby is in and things like that so these are expensive the nipples can be like two three dollars in a pack but like i said look for the sets i bought my set online for about like 22 25 dollars on walmart online look in the store it came with three bottles three four ounce bottles two nine ounce bottles um zero size nipple one size nipple two size nipples and a bottle cleaner and the actual tops to separate the um the milk from coming out so that was a great set for like 25 bucks um moving on the next thing i guess i'll go with this the next thing is a diy lounger so now they have these baby loungers that you can just lay your baby on and walk around you can buy a lounger they're not that expensive they're about like in the 20 dollar range no need for a lounger you can just take an old pillow or a very long rectangle flat pillow 
put it in a old pillowcase or a soft pillowcase wash it make sure it's clean i recommend you wash it in baby washing powder and then you can get a satin or silk whatever kind of top you want to put on and now you have a diy baby lounger and my baby lays on this he goes to sleep on this everything i put this inside of his bassinet for extra cushion throughout the day he lays on it sits on it it's a diy lounger now you could have bought a lounger i wasn't gonna waste money on a lounger when i know i used that this little diy method for my older son and then you can just roll up little towels and put it around it when you have it in the bed and it does the same effect as a lounger so if you want to buy a lounger i think those are necessary because your baby is pretty much lounging for the first couple of months of he or she's life but for me i just did a diy method i took a pretty flat soft firm but still soft like that pillow put a um a pillowcase on it and it works just as good and it's probably about the same size as a regular lounger so this is the size of it so and if you can see those old stains those are old milk stains this is washed and has been cleaned but it does stain the the case but it's soft it's just right he loves it he goes to sleep on it and i have two of these that i use so yeah you can buy a lounger or you can diy your own lounger just a long rectangle kind of thin pillow you don't want anything thick too fluffy and just an old pillowcase or you buy a new pillow case like i said satin silk whatever you want my last thing is a poppy so i had this poppy with my first son all i did was change out the pillowcase i'll have to look up how much poppies are they are expensive i think they were like 40 dollars when i bought them with my first son the actual pillow i'm not sure how you know what they're going for now yes it is expensive but it is so perfect when you first have them you can put it around your waist and prop them up and it's like a one-time buy you buy it one time and if you have multiple kids you never have to buy it again and then you can use it throughout their first year of life so you can put it around your waist like this like a hula hoop like so lay your baby down feed it when people come to visit you can lay them down they can see the baby you can just lay your baby there prop them up watch television as they get older you can sit it here and actually just place them down inside it props them up they can watch tv play or whatnot and then it's also good for tummy time you can use it this way lay them forward on it leave their arms off the side it helps them to sit up and hold their body their posture their head their upper body their weight and then um yeah so it works for feeding propping tummy time and sitting so all the way it says from zero months feeding three months propping six months tummy time and nine months sitting um that's what it says on the tag but my old tag with my first son um things were a little speeded up it said tummy time at nine months and sitting at six months so just depending on where you think your child is my son who is currently two and a half months um i lay him on here sometimes he really doesn't like to lay down flat i prop him in it and we do tummy time in it and as he gets older when he can sit up then you can put this around their waist through around their back to help give them support for them to sit up so yeah these are my affordable essentials let me know what well, affordable newborn essentials because these are everything that i've been using a lot for my newborn he is two and a half months and he is just now growing out of newborn clothing so yes i wanted to make this video while everything was fresh and i want to share it with you all so leave a comment down below hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel let me know if you have any of these newborn items let me know if you've used any of these any of these things for your newborn so anything you want to tell me leave a comment down below hit the like button and please subscribe and i will see you all in my next one bye guys